What's going on fellow fixers? I'm Jeremy Schick and I'm a fixer. In today's video we're going to be dealing with this shelf. So for those of you that don't know, we are having a baby very soon. I'm talking like weeks, two to three weeks, something like that. And so we're trying to get the nursery all finished up. And this used to be our boy's room and we moved him over to another room and we're going to turn this into the nursery. But he had this shelf up here and we just don't like the color um, for uh, baby sister's room so we're going to change it um, as cheaply as possible so I actually got this just simple poplar board uh, one by I believe it's a one by eight and we're not even going to remove the shelving we're just going to take uh, the existing shelf off stain this and hang it up here. We're going to put his shelf in the other room. So, come along. Okay, so we basically want the exact same uh, size shelf as the one that's up here. So I'm going to make it real easy on myself. And I'm just going to put this up on top. There's a sticker on this end. I don't know if you can see it on this side so rather than even mess with that I'm just going to cut that end off. So if I line it up get it flush on one side I can just use a pencil mark the end and I'm going to go ahead and put a small little mark where the shelves are going to go uh, or sorry where the screws are going to go for the the bracket that way whenever I'm done I don't even have to mess with getting it even left to right I know exactly where to put those screws up through to make sure that it's going to be center exactly where the old shelf was so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to pull that I already made those marks I'm going to pull it down we're going to cut it stain it and then we can mount it put out in that shell for our sister so she can put down so I can nice go cut down it so she can be happy. So, so I can put some things up there for her to get whenever she's bigger. All right, in case you missed that, we're cutting this shelf so that it's the right length before we put it up for little sister. How's that sound? If the right length, you can put that shelf up for that one. Yeah, we won't be able to finish it today because we've got to cut it, then we have to stain it, and it'll take a while for the stain to dry. We, we have to cut and then stain it. We have to what? Cut it and then stain it, and it'll take a while to, until the stain gets bigger. Before the stain gets dry? Yeah, before the stain gets dry. Alright, so this is what we're using uh, to stain and seal the wood. It's a Minwax. It says stain and polyurethane in one. I've never actually used it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. The biggest thing with these is that they're oil based. So if you're doing any of this, make sure you've got mineral spirit, spirits because if you're using a brush, you're going to get obviously all this stain all over it. And this goes for oil based paints as well. There is no way you will ever clean a brush with just water if it's oil based. You have to have mineral spirits to clean it up. It's the only way it's going to happen. So, if you've ever struggled to clean out a paintbrush and you can't figure out why it's not getting clean, it might be because you're using oil based paints. But anyway, this is what we're going to do. So, we're going to go ahead and do it. It says there's a six hour cure time. So, I'm going to have to do it and then give it some time to dry. Do a second coat. All right, we're obviously going to have to do two coats and we're going to have to do the top and then after it dries, come back and do the bottom. Uh, the big thing is that you just 
you don't want to put this on thick just do real light coats and I'll even have a rag handy because I'll probably wipe some of the excess off so let's go ahead and get started see it's actually a very light stain it's not gonna do much it's just gonna protect the shelf Any places where it's on too thick, you can just take a rag and wipe it off, clean it up a little bit. Alright, so now we'll just let that dry and then we'll put sand it real with a real fine uh, sandpaper steel wool. And then we'll come back and do a second coat and do the same thing, do the bottom of it. So, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take this shelf off. And I actually bought new brackets for the other room so that I don't even have to bother taking these off. We'll just put up new brackets in the other room. Now the other thing I'm going to have to keep in mind whenever I put the new shelf up here is that this is just a 2x6 so it's a lot thicker and so these screws work out just fine but that other one is only a one by six actually it's a one by eight so to make sure I get screws that are short enough that they're not going to go through the wood and poke through it all right so that's it I'm gonna go get a stud finder and we'll go in the other room and mount this shelf in that room all right I'm just gonna hang this up get mama to figure out where she wants it and then we'll put a mark I'm just gonna put a mark on the bottom is that's essentially where the bottom of the shelf is, which is the height that the brackets are going to be. Okay, so I could use my level and just get a straight line. Then we're going to have a real long line. So instead, what I'm going to do is find my studs, mark where the brackets are going to be, and then just put a line right where the brackets will mount. That way I don't have a big long line. I'm going to put the top screw in first, that way I can adjust the bottom to make sure that it's not only um, level across the top, but that the brackets actually plumb as well. Alright, anytime I'm putting up a bracket, I try to get into a stud, it's just so much easier than, I'll show you what they gave with these brackets. So they sent these brackets, or these anchors, but I don't like them. And if you're putting a lot of weight on this shelf, it's just better to do it right into a stud. What you trying to do, buddy? If you have blood, cut right your horse. Then take it. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he wants to be a cowboy real bad. So if any of you have a ranch, call me and I'll take him out there and let him ride some horses with you. We went to the rodeo last night, so that's where he's getting it from. Just gonna check and make sure it's level. job is done. Now I just got to finish that other shelf and get it mounted in the nursery. Okay so I made a bit of a mistake. Um, whenever I did the top coat on the top of this board what I should have done is gone and wiped off the excess drip that came down below. You can see there there's some overspill and so um, I didn't do that and so I have a couple of little drips hanging down. So what I'm gonna try to do, and I'm not gonna try to mess up the wood, but 
I'm going to take a razor blade and see if I can get some of that excess off. But future reference, if you're going to do this, uh, then after you've done the top, the top part of it, just you take that rag and just go underneath all the way around and, and get off that last little bit. All right. Well, I think that this is going to work. You have to be careful not to take too much and dig into the wood. Uh, but this looks like it's going to work okay just to get that extra little bit off. Just want to always go with the grain. All right, I'm just finishing putting up this shelf came out fairly well. I'm not extremely happy with it. There's a couple spots where I had just a little bit of um, excess stain. I don't know if I like this stain and gloss all in one. Probably would stain it separate and then gloss it separate. But I'm going to try to sand it down, especially right here. There's just a little spot that's a little high. But all in all, it's a pretty straightforward process. Um, made sure that I had screws that weren't going to poke through. That's a mistake that some people make, not just thinking about it. They'll grab a screw or whatever might come with the shelf, the bracket, and it's just it's too long. So uh, make sure that you're not going to use a screw that's too long can be poking out. But that's it, fellow fixers. I'm Jeremy Schick, and I'm a fixer. Thanks so much for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'd love to see you on the next one.